Hi everybody, welcome to Artless Ordinary by Ben. As you can see, I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> Alright, so I'm drawing a ghost swipe in black. And this is a mixture of silver and pewter because I had two little small caps left and I thought I'd mix them into one. And cadmium orange, I think it's cadmium orange, and opaque orange. So... I want, I've been wanting to do an orange and black one for ages, but I kept putting it off when now I'm just like, nah, I'm doing it. So, the base is Eraldo Di Polo, mixed four part flow troll to one part paint. The paints are Holcroft Professional, Holcroft Professional, mixed three parts paint, one, three parts flow troll, one part paint. And my canvas is a 12 by 24. It's about 30 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So I had already started to do the um, pouring and then I realized I hadn't hit the record button. So here we are. I'm doing another one of my zigzaggy lines I like it when I do the zigzags and here's the silver pewter mixture which I'm going to kind of zigzag over the top of both Okay. Alrighty. Done. Ah. Oh. So when I put the white base on, it was 35 grams paint and 140 grams flow troll. And then I put it on, I smooth it around with my palette knife, and then I tilt it over all edges until it's nice and even. Then I do my zigzag line. And this time I'm using my paint cards. But I'm going to use the smaller ones, so I'm going to have a lot more variation instead of it being uh, the wider card, which would normally be that size. So instead of that size, it's that size. So it should look a little bit different to normal. Not a lot different, but just kind of a slightly different effects. Oh, really wasn't planning on having it mess up like this by forgetting to record but hey it happens so place it down in the middle drag it down and lift place it down drag and lift and we are just going to keep doing this I'm going a little bit wonky, try to keep your lines straight. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my card around and use this side. We just want to keep going along. Okay. 
time to fold over my paper towel <clears throat> and get a new card. And we're just going to keep dragging this around from there and I'm lifting at different spots and different angles Right, we are getting rid of this paper towel, it's too soggy. Get my fresh one, place it down, I always have it folded in half. And that side is finished, so I'm turning it around. I missed a bit there, so I'm going to overlap that. I don't like this card. So if you think your card's doing things like that, where it keeps missing, get a new one. Alrighty. Hmm. I don't like re-swiping. So I'm not going to. Every time I re-swipe, I make a mess. So I'm going to get this one ready to, to clean my fingers because I'm going to turn this around. Oh, come on. There we go. Clean off my fingers. And this is a canvas and not a MDF board, but it is virtually the same size as my MDF boards. That's a bit bad. So I um, haven't used this brand of board before. I've only just got this today. I mean, canvas, I only got this today. So now we try and match where we were last time in the middle and swipe. Just keep moving along. Okay. Turning this card around because it's gone soggy. I'm going a little bit wonky with that middle line, so I've got to try to match that up a bit better. Okay. Oh, 
We're getting there. Give me a card. I'm going to get another paper towel, even though I've only got a little bit left. I'm not going to risk it. Where's the end of the paper towel? Yeah. So if you risk it and kept using that soggy paper towel to the end, you've got the chance of making a mistake or messing it up. You've done this much of your artwork already. Don't mess it up for one little paper towel. I'm not sure if I like this thinner card as much as my thicker one. It's just different. I think I have a little bit more control with the thicker card. Or the wider card, I should say, not thicker. And lucky last bit. There we go. Now, I will swipe my sides. Doesn't have to be perfect, just so you don't have, in this case, three solid drip lines. There we go. Alrighty. Red, black, and I would probably say more pewter than silver. Because once I mix the pewter and the silver together, I think it looked closer to the pewter colour than the silver colour. But there is the pour. So there's a few solid black parts, but a lot of the black has kind of gone to a a graze and with black slithers. Um, definitely lacing all the way around it. The orange has kind of gotten different tones, some solid, some not so solid. And the pewter, you can't, it's there, but at the moment it's hard to tell between the pewter and the black and white mixing to make grey. Until it dries and you see the shimmer, you won't really notice a huge difference. I can tell slightly from my angle, that there and that there is pewter when that side and that side is the black and white together. So if we look at this one section here, pewter, black, there's a little slither of pewter there and more pewter here. So there's a slight difference, but I don't know what you can see through your camera compared to my eyes. But it's got nice lacing. It's got nice points, um, probably a little bit more wonkier, I wasn't as, um, <laughs> probably didn't perfect them as much, but that's okay, because it gives it different interest. So, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up, so we can actually see it properly. Okay, so what do we think of black, orange and pewter? I think this looks all right. Is the colors, yeah, the colors look pretty similar to what I see with my eyes. I wanted to do black and orange. So this, I did what I wanted to do because there's so many other colors I want to try, but this one kept calling to me. So as you can see, there's nice lacing all the way through. We've got Orange swipes, black swipes, some are mixed. Goes all the way across. 
Then this side, we've got some points, more lacing everywhere, really good lacing here. And yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, wasn't too much of a, as a long pour, relatively quick pour. What is it, at 15, 15 minutes, so that's not too bad, apart from I did the white base off camera. So in probably a 20 minute pour, 25 minutes at the most. That's pretty good, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And can we do a side angle so we can see there you go, that's all the way from one end to the other. Pretty cool. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. So, um, share, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, good night everyone. Bye.